Welcome to the new Talent Management System. With this new Fluid Recruiting interface, you can use TMS on your mobile devices and tablets. In this video, we will show you how to navigate the system to find your postings and search for quality candidates to fill your vacancies. Let us begin by clicking on Recruiting from the Welcome Center. This will take you to the Fluid Recruiting Center dashboard. From here, you can see a high-level overview of your candidates, requisitions, and access onboarding. Clicking on the blue hyperlink numbers under Total in each section will take you to that corresponding section in TMS. On the top menu bar, you can see the different sections within TMS. Tasks, Requisitions, Submissions, Offers, Candidate Pools, and Search. We will cover how to access and use some of these sections, starting with requisitions. Viewing open requisitions. From the top of the dashboard, click on requisitions. You can now view your list of requisitions. If there is a yellow badge icon next to a number, this means that there are new submissions to the requisition. The number is the candidate count. Reviewing your candidates. To review your candidates or a requisition, click on the candidate number count. Clicking on the candidates count shows you the name of the candidates that have applied for your requisition. From this view, you can see the step and status of the candidate, which tells you where the candidate is in the hiring process. The steps are screen and interview, offer, pending, and hire. To export a list of all your candidates, click the Select All checkbox, go to More Actions, and Download as Excel. The spreadsheet will download in the lower left hand of your screen. Close your spreadsheet. Uncheck the All box to deselect all your candidates. The candidate names are a hyperlink. Clicking on the name allows you to view the candidate information. After clicking on the candidate name, you can view their Job Submission tab, their Attachments tab, History tab, and Summary card. Click on the button in front of the section header to expand or collapse and view the content of that section. You can click on Expand All to view the content of all the sections. You can click on Collapse All to view the content of all the sections. From the Job Submission tab, you can view the candidate's personal information external services, submission information, experience and credentials, questionnaire, and references. In the Job Submission tab, the Personal Information section is where you would view a teacher's candidate score. There will be three scores. One, match score, the teacher's potential match against the requirements of the job. Two, success score, predicts how successful the teacher will be based on the assessment of their education and work history. 3. Success Tier The candidate is placed in 1, being most likely to be successful, to 3, least likely to be successful. Teacher candidates will have both a match score and success score, while all other candidates will only have the match score. The IBM Watson Recruitment Candidate Score is a hyperlink that provides a calculation that determines whether a candidate can do the job based on an analysis of their skills.
From the Attachments tab, you will be able to view any items attached by a candidate, such as a resume or their certifications. You can use the left and right arrows to move through the candidate submissions. From the History tab, you will be able to view any action that has been made by your campus or department only. From the Candidate Summary card on the left-hand side of the screen, you can view the candidate's contact information by clicking on the icon next to the candidate's name. You can also preview a candidate's resume, LinkedIn profile if they have one, and any other submissions they have in TMS. You will need to be signed in with your LinkedIn account to access their LinkedIn profile. Below the summary card, you can view the candidate's education and recent work history. Searching for a specific candidate. To search for a specific candidate, use the search bar at the top of the screen. By clicking on the down arrow, three search options are displayed. Look up a candidate, look up a candidate detailed, and find submission. Using either look up a candidate or look up a candidate detailed will take you to a candidate's general profile, while using find submission will take you to a candidate's job submission. I am searching for a candidate with the last name Love. Scheduling an interview. To schedule an interview, I am going to return to my requisitions list. Select my candidate count number Then select the box next to the candidate name After selecting your candidates, go to More Actions Then from the drop-down select Schedule an Interview After selecting Schedule an Interview you will see a pop-up window to enter your interview properties. Some fields are already pre-filled. Review the following items. Pre-filled subject, pre-filled organizer, enter your location, update your date by select the calendar icon, Update your start time by clicking the clock icon below the calendar view. Then click Done. Update your duration by clicking on the drop-down. Update your reminder time by clicking on the drop-down or leave as defaulted. If satisfied, click Next. From the Interviewer section, you can add panel members to the interview invite by clicking on Select Interviewers. Under Filters, search for another TMS user. In the Name field, enter a name and then click Apply Filters. Clicking the checkbox name to the name to make your selection, then click on Select. Interviewers, you will be taken back to the Interview Properties page. From the Invitation section under Interview Notification, you can choose to send the candidate and requisition file to the members of your interview panel by clicking the boxes next to the options. If you are satisfied with the interview information, click on Next. Review your interview information, then click Submit to send out the interview to the candidate. The interview invite will be an Outlook calendar invite. Recommending a candidate 
to recommend a candidate for hire, click the box next to the candidate name. After selecting your candidate, go to More Actions, then from the drop-down, select Change Step Status. After selecting Change Step Status, you will see a pop-up window to update new status. From the Change to Status drop-down, scroll down to Recommended. Proceed to Offer. Enter your comments. Then click Apply and Close. After clicking Apply and Close, you will be returned to your candidate list. From this list, you can view under the selection Step and Status which candidates you have recommended. Additional Resources For additional resources, click on the drop-down next to your name at the top right of the screen and click on Help. This will open up in a new tab and take you to the Recruiting Help Center where custom communications and support channels will provide additional links to training documentations and videos.